Alright, I'm making this video for anyone that's in the car audio that has a neon. Um, I think it only applies to the first gens. I'm not sure about the second gens, but my, my neon is a first gen. It's a, 90, a 1997. And first I want to say, before anything, before I do anything, this sensor right here. Do not unplug this sensor and start the car unless you have a, a scanner to clear the code. I have a, a Mac scanner to, to clear the code. Okay, what this thing is, this right here, it is a battery temp sensor. And what it's for is the alternator on these cars do not have built-in regulators. The regulator is built into the ECU, into the car's computer. And what it does is when the underhood temp starts getting hot, when it starts getting hot under underneath the hood, the sensor gets warm and the sensor tells the computer to tell the voltage regulator to turn the, the voltage down. Okay, I have a high powered car audio system in my car and I do not want my voltage going down. I want it staying up right around 14 volts. So this is what I did, but I'll show you first. Okay, you see the sensors plugged in and everything. I'll start my car up and show you my voltage. See, I'm at like 13.3 volts at idle. 13.3, that's like nothing. Like, I constantly will have to hold my gas. You know, I'm, I'm at 13.6 at 2,000 RPM. Now watch this. See, I, I, I'm a smart sometimes. Sometimes I am smart. I admit that. For the most part, I am not fucking too smart. But when it comes to cars, I'm pretty damn smart. Let me set this camcorder down. Or no, here, I'll show you this real quick. Okay, these, this is, if you can see it good, if I can get it out of the glare. Well, it's a, a 2-2K ohm re resistor. They're little resistors. You know, they go inside like computer boards and stuff like that. So what I did was I took one of them. I bent it to where the prongs go inside when you take the sensor off. Here, I'll show you real quick. Now remember, I was at like 13.3 volts or something like that. Now watch this. Hang on. Bear with me for a second here. I had to set it down. Okay. Now you see I have, I, un, I unplugged it. And, and I plugged my little ohm resistor in there now watch this like i said if you were to just unplug that and start the car up the check engine light will come on and it will stay on and your voltage will be shitty shabam 14 volts right where i wanted to be if i touch the gas a little bit 13.2 Okay, being as I have a scanner, I will show you what it does with that unplugged, with, n with nothing in it. Okay, so I unplugged it. Now, my battery light's on and check engine light's on. And that will not, even if you, I mean, it, it charges. I mean, you see it charges, but it's, it's not making a difference whatsoever. Like, no difference at all in the voltage. I mean, it, the voltage was, honestly, it was better with the sensor plugged in. So, I'm basically posting this video for anyone that does 
uh, high amp car audio build and a first gen neon. Like I said, I don't know if this applies to a second gen neon because I'm not sure if they have the um, the battery temp sensor or not. So for anyone that does have a neon, I hope this is helpful to you. And also, like I said, it, you know, if you just unplug it and then plug this in and then turn to start the car you get no check engine light no battery light voltage stays up at 14 volts all day long i mean i've had this hooked up for like a couple of days now and it's been perfect so and they're th these stupid things they're only a couple like i think i paid like four bucks for these and there's probably like 20 something of them in here you know, I got them for like four bucks shipped off of eBay. Or 25, I'm sorry. Yeah, 20, it says right here. Duh. Told you I ain't that smart sometimes. They're 25 piece. But I ordered two sets. I ordered the the 22K ohm uh, quarter watts. And then the other ones that I ordered haven't showed up yet. They're 22K ohm one watt. So I don't know what kind of difference the a quarter watt or a one watt will do. But I'm... Um, Obviously, I bought the stupid things already, so I'm going to try them when they get here. But, again, I hope this video was helpful to anyone else that has a Neon, or even if it's another car that has a battery temp sensor in it, you know, similar to this with the two-prong. Just buy you a set of these 22K ohm uh, resistors. Take one. Bend it. Slide it right into there. You're done.